Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Kendall here to show you how to make a basic Minecraft house. In this video, I'm going to assume that you're in survival mode and that you have access to these four blocks right here. Cobblestone, two different wood types, and glass. If you have access to each of these four blocks, then that means you have access to almost all of these other blocks to work with in your building palette. So there's no right or wrong way to build something in Minecraft, but there is a bit of a pattern that I like to follow. Basically, every house can be divided up into three sections. You have the walls, you have the roof, and then you have extra details that are unnecessary to include, but can make your house much better. So stuff like vegetation, be like chimneys. When making walls, I like to choose two main, um, two or three main blocks. I like to choose the lighter wood color that I have and the cobblestone. Then what I do is I make up a pattern that my walls are all gonna sh are all gonna follow, so that I can plan ahead what the layout is going to be. So, for instance, I might start with something like this, just a square of cobblestone or stone. And then, I use the wood to fill in around this, uh, inside the square, like so. This would be the outside, and this is going to be the inside. Now, sometimes, if I feel creative, I might grab some stripped logs and use them, I don't know, like right here, along the edges of the inside. It's really up to you what kind of color palette you want to use on these sort of patterns. And you probably guessed it. Use some glass or glass panes right here in the middle. And, you know, that's something. That's something indeed. I might make it a little bit better of a something. Do something like this. Maybe get some more depth rocking and rolling. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And then, sometimes I like to add shutters to these things. And so, I'll go to my darker wood material. and Which is usually spruce because spruce is the best. And I'll either grab a door or the trap door. Put some temporary blocks right there. Oh, never mind. We're just gonna use the trap door. Because doors break. Look at that. It's a pretty good pattern. So, now once you've decided on like a little pattern that you can follow for the rest of your build, what I would do is I would count out one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six blocks wide at the bottom. And so now what I can do is I can take the uh, base material, whatever material you have on the bottom, and then I can make out make up whatever layout I want. So as you can see, if you do it where each section shares like a pillar in the middle, then you would probably count it as one, two, three, four, five, five, and then you count five blocks and then add one at the very end. So, if I wanted a house that had three of these sections, I'd count out 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I'd add an extra block at the end. Now, and now every six blocks, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'd start here. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. As you can see, it lines up perfectly. So let's talk about roofs. With roofs, I like to take my darker color, which in this case is spruce. For this tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to do curved roofs because they're kind of complicated to explain. Instead, I'm just going to keep it nice and basic and simple, and we're going to focus on just the triangle style roofs. Um, so, pretty easy. Once again, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but the way I like to do it is I build up one block above where my wall is, and then I start my slope, like so. And then what I like to do is I make a border block or a border with my stone thing. Now, as you can see, doing cobblestone on cobblestone isn't actually, isn't really very nice looking. And so, what I would do is I'd grab an alternative stone, like stone brick, for example, and I would use it instead. I also like to add ribs to my roof, so you might have seen them before. Then, right here, I'll build up a single block. Um, let's use our stone bricks some more. And then you can break all of your wood parts and replace them with uh, bricks, like so. You just replace them like that. And then, Put on your, as you can see, this makes a pretty nice looking 
pretty nice looking pattern that you can just repeat over and over again. Let's build a test house with this pattern right here. Since my pattern is six blocks, uh, six blocks wide at the base, I'm gonna count one less than that for every section that I want. So that would be like, so if I want the corner of my house to be like right here, for example, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'll have two sections here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom, and this should be right in the middle. Yeah, multiples of five, not multiples of six. So count in multiples of five, and then add one at the very end. Then do the same thing. Um, two, three, four, five, and uh, one at the very end, which makes six. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have the basics of your house laid out, I'm going to show you some exceptions to the rules I laid out earlier. As you can see, the corners have no space for this uh, oak log that we normally put there. So I simply decided to remove it altogether. It doesn't really detract from the build's uh, overall look too much, and so I think it's a worthy trade-off. Also, there's three different colors of glass here. I couldn't decide which one looked the best, so why don't you guys decide in the comments? Um, next, as you can see, there are some, uh, also in the corners, the roofs don't really uh, work with that pattern that we laid out earlier. So, that just means you have creative freedom to do whatever you want here. See, I just simply decided to put little triangle things, little uh, stairs going into a slab. But you could make it more interesting if you wanted to. For instance, I could take, I don't know, maybe a big old wall right here. And I could do something like this. And, you know, well, it doesn't look super great now. But you get what that could, that could be a look, I bet. Anyway, um, also, Right here, you can see that there's these open gaps where I decided to leave, um, where I decided to not just wrap the roof around the house like this. Instead, I decided to leave, uh, you know, section open. I'm pretty sure this is called a gable. Anyway, what you do here is instead of trying to like fill in in this area, you can see that doesn't really work. What I would recommend doing is filling in around back here. And this is where you can be kind of crazy and still have the build look good. For instance, you might have seen composters in the wood, potential wood things that you could use. This is somewhere you can put composters and not have any issues with it looking weird. It's a slightly different color than the roof, and so it ends up actually looking pretty nice. Um, or if composters aren't your thing, you could use something like uh, barrels. Barrels look pretty interesting. They're closer to a spruce color than they are an oak color, just like those aren't really oak colored either. With barrels, you want to be holding shift and be, let's see, excuse me, sorry and they place in the direction that you're looking. Up and down, it all looks the same, so don't really worry too much about it. They're kind of a pain to place down, and they're probably, probably pretty expensive, too. But it is an option. Um, as you can see, there are lots of holes that form when you make interesting shaped roofs, so you just fill them in with a block. And I'd recommend always putting your door underneath a gable if you have one. So break out this window. We're gonna turn this into a door. Now we're gonna move on to like decorating it and kind of bringing it to life and stuff. We're gonna bring it to life on the outside and then we're gonna move on to interior design stuff. Here's the basic exterior completed. As you can see, I made two different uh, chimneys to show you some different options here. Uh, you don't really need flower pots. Uh, that's not included in what the palette we have. But as you can see, it makes some nice little chimneys. Um, campfires, they were pretty inexpensive, so they should be pretty easy to get as well. I'm not a super huge fan of uh, covering my builds in greenery and stuff, but it can bring it to life if that's the look you're going for. Um, you might have seen earlier that there was a bunch of purple blocks these are simply temporary blocks, so I might actually just get rid of them. Anyway, let us move on to the interior. 
Doing interiors, I usually start with the floor because I think it's the easiest, uh, easiest way to make your house start to look nice really quickly. With floors, there are lots of different alternatives. You can use carpets, patterns, anything you can really think of. In this tutorial, I'll show you a uh, pattern, simple pattern. Um, I'm using a stone, smooth stone around the door. And then I have a little edge made of spruce. And then here, I'm just going to make a little pattern with whatever this stuff is. A little crisscrossing. Then I like to start with the roof because you can see it kind of opens up to an ugly ugly ceiling and we don't want to be able to see that because it's ugly. Um, I find rooms to be very simple, or ceilings to be very simple. I like to just take whatever this material is, the corner, the uh, what is it? Whatever is in the middle here, whatever support material or edge material I have for the inside, usually I use just a log like this. And then I just draw it across, I draw it across the top of the roof. And then I use my wall material. I usually either don't decorate or don't use my upstairs, just because that's a lot of extra work that I don't want to have to do. Once you have the ceiling and the floor done, now it's time to start working on the three major rooms of houses. The bedroom, storage room, and the smeltery, or a station to smelt stuff. It'd be pretty easy to make a uh, your storage room up in the roof where you don't have to worry about how it looks, but I'll just show you how I would do it down here. And now it's time for decorating. When it comes to decorating, just go with your gut. I'll show you what I like to do, but you can definitely do something different here to fill the empty spaces. If you don't have a lot of uh, wool to make carpet, you could also just use moss carpet. It looks, I mean, it's not terrible. But if you had the choice of no carpet and moss carpet, I think moss carpet is the better alternative. To be honest, you probably put whatever you wanted in there. I'm just sort of making this up as I go along here. Don't go too overboard with the plants. Or with paintings. This is your basic basic house. Nice and cheap materials. And fairly easy pattern to follow. Highly customizable. Now, glamour shots. 